I want to talk about something we really haven't covered yet on this channel, the wrist brace. You may have seen them being worn by some bowlers. Most bowlers who use wrist supports use them because they have weak wrists, or do they? Today, we're going to set our sights on the wrist support, when you should consider using one, and when you should let it wrist in peace. Next on The Art of Bowling. Hi, I'm Coach Arthur and thanks for checking out the Art of Bowling channel where we discuss tips, tricks, and techniques to help you bowl your best. So whenever I have a client approach me wearing a wrist support, my first inclination is to ask them why they wear one. Usually their answer boils down to something like, I wear it because I have a weak wrist. Well, unless you suffer from something like corporal tunnel syndrome, you may be underestimating the power of your wrist. Personally, I believe the vast amount of bowlers do not have weak wrists, and I'll argue that to the death. If you're someone who relies on a wrist support, I want you to try something. The next time you practice, take off the support and apply a little pressure on the ball with your index finger. When you stiffen that pointer finger, you'll immediately notice that your wrist also stiffens, and you'll get all the support you need for your backswing, and watch your rev rate go up. Thank you, Ron, for that tip during our bronze class. Quick question, how many pros do you know are presently bowling with a wrist support on the PBA Tour? Or how many of them wear them that are in the top 50 all time? Why is that? Well, maybe they help keep your wrist firm during the backswing, but they can also be a detriment to your release. Think about what our release looks like. Our wrist goes from a loaded or cup position to an unloaded or uncup position, allowing us to get our thumb out quickly, finishing with our follow through. But if we're wearing a wrist support, it's impossible to uncup our wrist during release. It's actually hindering what you're trying to accomplish. So if you're not suffering from a wrist injury, try that stiff index finger trick to get your wrist to firm up and you might find all that support you ever needed was in you the entire time. Consistency will come with practice, so keep at it. So what do you think of wrist supports? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and see you on the lanes. Hi, I'm USBC Silver Certified Coach Arthur O'Connor. Thanks for watching and see you on the lanes. Coming up on The Art of Bowling.